We are now going to do the opposite of multiplying polynomials, and that is going to be factoring polynomials. But before we actually factor the polynomials, we need to know how to find the greatest common factor. So let's say I have the numbers 8 and 12. If we break 8 and 12 down to their prime factorization, 8 is 4 times 2 and then 2 times 2. 12 would be 3 times 4 and then 2 times 2. So to find the greatest common factor, remember, you have a 2 and a 2, and then another 2 and another 2, and then the last factorization, we have three, 2 and 3. Those are not in common. So 2 times 2 is 4. So the greatest common factor between 8 and 12 is 4. Now you get to a point where you don't have to do the prime factorization of these numbers. You start to see what the factorization is. All right, let's say we have the numbers. So what we want to look at is 6 goes into 24. So 6 is both a factor of 6 and 24. So the G C F between 6 and 24 would be 6. Now what does that mean when we're factoring polynomials or finding the greatest common factor between polynomials? When you're trying to find the greatest common factor between terms in a polynomial, we break up the terms and remember terms are separated by using addition or subtraction. So we're really looking at the greatest common factor between 8x squared and 12x. Now, when we're doing this, first you look at the greatest common factor between the constants. Well, we know the greatest common factor between 8 and 12 is 4 because we already found it on an earlier problem. Now, the second thing you're going to do is look at the greatest common factor between the variables. And just to be able to see this visually, we have here x squared is x times x, and x by itself is just x, or x to the first is x. So we pull out the greatest multiple of x that we can. So that means that we're pulling out an x here which means that 4x is the greatest common factor between 8x squared and 12x. Now, after you get the greatest common factor of the polynomial, you actually want to factor the polynomial out. And when you remember when you're factoring, and it's a lot like reducing fractions, I'm going to divide 4x into each thing. So 8x squared divided by 4x. So 8 divided by 4 is 2 x squared divided by x is x, and then 12 divided by 4 is 3, and x divided by x is 1, and so that goes away. So 4x times 2x plus 3 would be the factored form of the polynomial. All right, so really the steps for factoring a polynomial are first, look at the constants and find the greatest common factor between the constants. Second, look at the variables and factor out the highest power amount of variables you can. All right, and if you have multiple variables, you do that for each variable. So if I have 12x cubed plus 5x squared, looking at the constants, 12 and 5 have no factors in common. So you cannot factor out anything with the constants. Now let's look at the variables. You have x cubed and x squared. Well, the highest, the lowest power, sorry, I have in there is x squared. So that means that x squared is the most amount that we can take out. So my greatest common factor between these two terms is x squared. Now, you're going to divide each of the terms by that x squared. So 12, 12x cubed divided by x squared would be 
x. And 5x squared divided by x squared would be 5. So my factored polynomial is x squared times 12x plus 5. Okay, so let's say I have 9x squared y minus 3xy squared. Well, the greatest common factor between the constants, 9 and 3, is 3. The greatest power of x I can take out is the lowest power. So I have x squared and x to the first. So x to the first is all I can take out. And then I have y and y squared, so y is all I can take out. So 3xy would be my greatest common factor. Now we're going to divide each of these terms by that greatest common factor. 9 divided by 3 is 3. x squared divided by x is x. y divided by y reduces all the way, so we don't even put it there. If every term canceled out, though, you do need to make sure it's a 1. So really, this is 3 times 1, but we're not going to write times 1 because anything times 1 is the same thing. All right, now the second term, 3 divided by 3 is 1, x divided by x is 1, and y squared divided by y is y. So technically, that's 1 times 1 times y, but... Once again, you just keep it as y. And this would be the greatest or the most factored this polynomial can be. All right, so this polynomial it's a little bit harder cuz there's three terms. The greatest common factor must come between all three terms, not just two of them, but all of them have to have the same multiples. So, Let's start off with the constants. We have 27, 12, and 18. 3 would be the greatest common factor that goes into each of those numbers. And if you're having a hard time seeing that, write the prime factorization out of each of them and you can see which number is the greatest that they all have in common. Then we look at the x's. I have x cubed, x squared, and x to the fourth. The greatest number I can pull out from all of those is the smallest power of x. So that would be x squared. Then I have the y groups. I have y to the fourth, y to the third, and y to the fourth. So the smallest power is y cubed. So the smallest power is the greatest amount that you can pull out. And then the last one is the z's. Now there's a problem here. Because I have z to the 7th and z squared, but I do not have a z here. Because there is not a z on that last term, you cannot pull any of the z's out. You would have to have a z amongst all of them. So that means that 3x squared y cubed is my greatest common factor. So if I go to write um, the new polynomial, the factored out polynomial, I would go 27 over 3 is 9, x cubed over x squared is x, y to the fourth over y is y, and then I can't take a z, so you just keep the whole group of z there. Now the 12. So we have this whole term, it's done. The 12x squared y cubed z squared would be 12 divided by 3 is 4, y cubed over y cubed cancels out, and we can't do anything with the z, so it's z squared. So the x's and the y's canceled out on that one. The last term would be 18 divided by 3 would be negative 6. x to the fourth over x squared is x squared. And y to the fourth over y cubed is y. So our final factored polynomial is this. And you might want to just double, double check and make sure that you didn't miss a multiple here. Luckily 9, 4, and 6 do not have any multiples in common, so we're good. So that is how you factor a polynomial by factoring its greatest common factor out.